Hello, here we are back for another episode of um, Introduction to Nature Journaling. In the last episode I showed you how to do a contour drawing, which is a warm-up exercise. It's an exercise to get you uh, feeling comfortable and relaxed with drawing. And today we're going to do a couple more warm-up exercises. We're going to do a modified contour drawing and we're going to do some speed drawings. So what you need is you need something to draw on something to draw with like a pencil or a pen I'm using um, an ink pen um, and you'll need a subject for your nature journaling uh, this time it's probably good to have some sort of an object so uh, you could have a seed pod like this this is a flindersia or crow's ash cone um, a banksia cone uh, that's been attacked by some sort of gall uh, what else have I got here um, a shell might be a good thing to do um, feather if you've got a, a feather so if you if you're into a nature like me you just sort of collect these things and you have them hanging around your house um, uh, a she oak cone uh, and something that's pretty ubiquitous in the Australian environment is um, some gum nuts you could do them as well or you could do a leaf um, something uh, fairly small and compact but not too tiny that you can't see the details is a good thing to use so last time we did a, what I call a contour drawing which is when you don't look at the page and you don't take your pen or pencil off the page this time we'll do a modified contour drawing and you're allowed to look at the page um, but you can't take your pen or pencil off the page and you might find um, this is something that makes you uh, more inclined to capture the overall shape of the object so grab whatever object um, you're going to use and and try and I'm going to do the um, flindersia cone and spend a few minutes trying to do a modified contour maybe just focusing on the the overall shape of that object because if I tried to do all those beautiful details I could be there forever and you can do that too but at the moment we're just trying to get you uh, drawing and comfortable with your drawing and sort of warming up so I'm going to have a little go at this um, <laughs> this might take me a while so I might just turn this off okay how'd you go with your modified contour drawing mine ended up a little bit wonky but that's okay and I also this is the uh, flindersia cone and I also I'll put it about up a bit closer you can see flindersia cone and I also had a go at this she oak cone and when I say a bit wonky um, this is good actually because it shows you one of the things that I often do with drawing which is probably not a very good habit and that is getting to the details straight up now if you get into the details straight up when you're drawing something you often end up with something that's a bit lopsided or you get the proportions wrong so so really with a modified contour and hopefully I, I captured the proportions of my shear cone a bit better there it, it's a technique that hopefully will get you to look more at the overall shape of the thing and try and capture the thing and then hone in on the details um, and I also the other thing that sometimes beginner drawers find a bit difficult is the concept of um, having your your pen lines sort of going over the top of each other and crossing and there's nothing there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that when you're drawing um, so so the modified contour you sort of have to have your pen lines crossing over because you can't take your pen or pencil off the page so it's a good practice for getting comfortable with that um, now let's try and do another little warm-up technique and that is some speed drawings and so what I want you to do is get uh, whatever thing you're drawing I might have a go at, at some of these um, gum nuts these are from the um, Sydney blue gum eucalyptus saligna that grows around here um, so what I want you to do I might just focus on one little clump of them uh, because with a speed drawing uh, I'm going to get you I'm going to ask you to draw uh, your subject in five seconds in 10 seconds and in 15 seconds and just see how you go with that um, uh, have a go at it um, once again this is like a warm-up technique and it's to get you sort of drawing loosely and and a bit more relaxed on the page so see how you go I'm going to have a go with these and I'll show you 
what they look like when I'm done. All right, how did you go with your speed drawing? Um, this is what I ended up with. So, so here I was actually in um, contour drawing mode. So I didn't, I, I forgot to take my pen or pencil off the page. There's my five second, and what I was trying to do is this, uh, this top little, top little bunch of um, gum nuts. There's my five second. There's my ten second. There's my fifteen second. And I was reminded how difficult this is because I always, I often get people to do this in workshops, and um, I will have more sympathy for you now. But no, the the thing is about this is that it's trying to get you to um, see the um, features quickly, to observe quickly, because that's a really good skill to develop when you're trying to draw things that move, like animals. And um, it's also trying to you to, to capture, uh, to capture. What, what am I trying to say? To get the overall sort of uh, jizz or, or the feel of what you're observing down quickly and to show you that you can get it down quickly. Now, these are not um, beautifully detailed works of botanical art and they're not meant to be, but I, I can sort of guarantee you that even with, maybe not with my 5 second and my 10 second, but with my 15 second, I can guarantee you that there would be some botanist I could show that to and say, I'm drawing gum nuts in southeast Queensland. What species is this? And they would say Eucalyptus saligna, um, because what I've captured there is the cone-shaped uh, shape of the gum nut and the fact that these little valves are exerted, and that's that's quite characteristic of this species in this area. So, what I'm trying to get across to you here is, um, with nature journaling, you can do stuff really quickly, and you can capture a lot of information and hopefully also enjoy what you're doing. Uh, it doesn't have to be um, a very precise or detailed sketch. Now, if you want to go on and develop the skill to do that, that is fantastic and, and, and good luck to you. You'll create some wonderful things. But the point is it doesn't have to be that way. And I think this is one of the, the differences I try and get across to people about how uh, nature journaling, as I teach it, can be quite difficult, to, um, d different for example, from botanical art. Uh, both have uh, great merit to them, um, but they can be quite different. And that's not to say every time you nature journal you try and get something down in 15 seconds, I'm not saying that, but this is a warm-up exercise to try and show you what's possible. And also some people find that uh, being under a time pressure actually makes them less critical of what they're drawing. And so once again, it's sort of, if you are a bit critical about having to get it perfect, it might um, show you the possibilities of getting a quick sketch down that's still meaningful um, and can be a great addition to your nature journal. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll move on to um, a more detailed study and, and get more into the materials of um, of what we use for nature journaling um, but for the for the time being enjoy your nature journaling and um, just practice with what you got lying around um, do some modified contour drawings some speed drawings some contour drawings and uh, yeah just have fun okay see you next time